Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell. I'm your host, Emily Drury, and we are so excited this morning. We had NASDAQ-listed company Unicure here to ring the opening bell, and I am now sitting down with CEO Matt Capista. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So tell us about um, Unicure and your mission. Sure. So Unicure was founded more than 20 years ago. Um, it's considered to be one of the pioneers within gene therapy, which is a very exciting field where the mission of our company is to develop um, one-time administered gene therapies for patients that have devastating diseases um, that in many cases are incurable. And the notion is to provide a one-time potentially curative treatment for these particular disorders. Uh, we're focused on CNS disorders as well as liver-based diseases. So how are you at Unicure reimagining the industry? Well, you know, I think um, what we're really trying to do is marry um, the ability to produce these gene therapies at large scale, um, to do it robustly, which is extremely important. Um, our goal is to, is to deliver to patients uh, the highest quality uh, therapeutic products for these particular disorders. And that's no easy task. So we've invested very significantly over the last 10 to 15 years in developing those capabilities internally. So we have a, a more than 80,000 square foot facility in Lexington, Massachusetts, where we do all of our manufacturing that supports all of our programs. And I think that's a, a hugely differentiated and big advantage that we have at Unicure. I was going to ask next, what sets you apart from your, your competitors? Yeah, so I think there's a couple of things. Of course, we just touched upon manufacturing. Uh, the other important concept here is um, you really need a toolbox in order to develop different gene therapies for different indications. And I think over the 20 year history that we have at Unicure, we've been able to develop a number of these enabling technologies, as we call them, that we can apply to different indications. So we have a lead program in hemophilia, uh, we have another program in Huntington's disease, and we've got several other programs in the research pipeline that we're currently developing. And which of those programs would you say is the most exciting project you're working on right now? I mean, they're all exciting just because in the end, um, you know, there, there are patients that, that really require um, these treatments and um, many of these genetic-based ailments. Uh, there's no disease-modifying therapies that, that are for them. I will probably say, though, when I look at uh, an indication like Huntington's disease, which is one of the largest uh, rare and orphan diseases that impacts probably around 70,000 patients in the United States and Europe. Um, you know, this is a, a devastating disease. Uh, you know, we've interacted with many of the patients and their families, um, and they're just looking for hope. And the fact that we can provide them that hope, I think, is really exciting for us at Unicure. And that's something that uh, is, is really wonderful to be a partner of yours on um, providing that hope to them. So Unicure has been listed on NASDAQ for um, five years now. Yeah. W what does it mean to you and the company to, to partner with NASDAQ and to be listed here? Well, I mean, look, there's a lot of services that NASDAQ provides us, um, but you know, the most important is it's, it's a conduit or an avenue uh, to be publicly listed, um, to attract investors and capital um, in, in the biotech industry, you know, we are net users of capital uh, until we are able to generate our own cash flow. And so having access, uh, you know, to those investors and having a, a liquid stock with an, on an exchange, I think, is critically important to us. Well, we're very proud to be your partners. And last but not least, and you've had a wonderful career in the biotech industry. What advice would you give somebody who is looking to, to enter that world? Uh, have a strong stomach. <laughs> no, it's, it, I mean, in the end, um, I think the most important thing, uh, you have your ups, you have your downs, it's never a straight line. Um, but if you, you know, you really, and I know this sounds corny, but you got to keep the patient uh, in the center of your mind. Uh, keep thinking about, uh, you know, working every day hard to ultimately deliver on your mission, which is to provide therapies for those patients. And, um, and I would say if you can do that, you know, you've got a pretty good chance of being successful. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so proud to have Unicure ring the opening bell this morning. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the latest episode of Behind the Bell. I'm Emily Drury, and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.